In the world of the paranormal, few objects hold as much intrigue and dread as the Dybbuk box. This seemingly ordinary wine cabinet, adorned with cryptic Hebrew inscriptions, is said to house a chilling secret. Legend whispers of a malevolent spirit, a Dybbuk, trapped within its wooden confines, yearning to wreak havoc on the living world. Our tale begins with Kevin Manis, a seasoned antique dealer with an eye for the unusual. Among myriad trinkets and curiosities at an estate sale, Manis found himself drawn to this peculiar box. Upon closer inspection, he discovered a note, a warning of the Dybbuk trapped inside. Yet the intrigue of this mysterious artifact outweighed its ominous warning, leading Manis to purchase the box, unaware of the darkness that lay within. From a simple estate sale to a tale of supernatural suspense, Manis had unwittingly set the stage for a chilling saga. Little did he know, he was about to unleash a nightmare beyond imagination. Manis decided to sell the D-Book box on eBay, unwittingly passing its curse to the highest bidder. The box, with its darkness packed neatly inside, found a new home with a young student named Josef Neitzel. It wasn't long before the box's eerie influence began to seep into Neitzel's life. Nightmares plagued his dreams. He felt an inescapable sensation of being watched. Even his health started to wane. The box, it seemed, was not just an innocent antique, but a vessel of malevolent power. Haunted by the box and desperate to escape its grasp, Neitzel made the decision to pass the box and its curse onto someone else. The box's next victim was Jason Haxton, a museum curator with a keen interest in the paranormal. Haxton, however, was not prepared for the chilling reality of the Dybbuk box. As soon as Haxton took possession of the box, he felt its dark energy. It was a sensation of dread that clung to him, a constant reminder of the box's presence. The box, it seemed, had a will of its own, and it was not easily subdued. In a desperate attempt to rid himself of the box's curse, Haxton sought the help of rabbis and paranormal experts. He hoped that they could cleanse the box, free it from the dibuk that resided within. But the box resisted. Rituals and exorcisms were performed, yet the dark energy persisted. It was as if the dibuk was mocking their attempts, thriving on their fear. It became clear that the Dybbuk box was not just a box, it was a prison, a battleground, a testament to the enduring power of the unknown. The box's curse could not be lifted, its darkness could not be cleansed, and for Haxton the terror was all too real. But the darkness persisted, defying all attempts at exorcism. The Dybbuk box remains a chilling reminder of the power of the unknown, a mystery that continues to haunt those brave or foolish enough to open it. The legend of the Dybbuk box has since inspired books, documentaries, and even a Hollywood film titled The Possession. Such is the chilling allure of this enigmatic object that it has seeped into popular culture, captivating and terrifying audiences worldwide. Its tale has been spun into countless narratives, each adding another layer to the legend. The Dybbuk box has become a symbol of the unknown, of the unseen forces that lurk in the shadows. Its story stirs our collective curiosity, our fascination with the unexplainable. It's a reminder of the age-old human struggle to comprehend the incomprehensible. Yet the Dybbuk box is also a subject of skepticism. Critics dismiss it as a clever hoax, a tale spun to sell an old wine cabinet. They argue that fear and imagination have conspired to create a ghost where none exists, but for those who have felt its eerie presence, the Dybbuk box is far from a fabrication. Some say the Dybbuk box is nothing more than a hoax, a product of overactive imaginations. But for those who have encountered its dark presence, the terror is all too real.